interviewing is, is an art. Dr. Redfield, you have the existing authority. Will you commit right now to using the authority that you have vested in you under law that provides in a public health emergency? It was promised me that you'll survive. That you won't give up. For testing, treatment, exam, isolation, without cost, yes or no. Tell me the truth. What I'm going to say is I'm going to review it in detail with no, CDC I'm, and the department. No, we're claiming my time. Claiming my time. Several times. We claim in my when time. we were doing our... our we claim in my time. The time belongs to the gentlelady from California. Dr. Redfield, respectfully, I wrote you this letter along with my colleagues, Rosa DeLora and Lauren Underwood. Congressman Underwood and Congressman DeLora. We wrote you this letter one week ago. We quoted that existing authority to you and we laid out this problem. We asked for a response yesterday. The deadline and the time for delay has passed. Will you commit to invoking your existing authority under 42 CFR 71.30 to provide for coronavirus testing for every American regardless of insurance coverage? What I was trying to say is that CDC is working with HHS now to see how we operationalize that. Dr. Redfield, I hope that that answer weighs heavily on you because it is going to weigh very heavily on me and on every American family. Well, our intent is to make sure every American gets the care and treatment they need at this time of this major epidemic, and I'm currently working with HHS to see how to best operationalize it. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! Dr. Redfield, you don't need to do any work to operationalize. You need to make a commitment to the American people so they come in to get tested. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You can operationalize the payment structure I th tomorrow. I, th I think you're an excellent questioner, so my answer is yes. Excellent! Game over. Jax wins. Big ballot.